Welcome to a rather windswept IKEA. Now we're actually in Sweden. Yes. yes. Who knew that you could go to IKEA in Sweden? <laughs> but that's where it's from. <laughs> well, actually, there is a really good reason to be here, even if it is raining, because we want to discover today: is it possible to get Swedish meatballs at IKEA in Sweden? Well, let's start the show. Well, it looks as though there's good news. According to the poster, there are meatballs. Well, I don't really see meatballs, but then I don't really know what it's called. Mm. Hopefully we'll just see it at the counter. So you get your knives and forks here. We've got our little trolley. This. They have glasses here, look. Two of those. Ooh, cakes. Look. Look, an apple. Well, it's fantastic news. They do have Swedish meatballs at IKEA in Sweden. And you could either get eight, 12 or 16. So originally we were gonna get one lot each, but we thought actually it might be cheaper just to get one lot between us. So we've gone for 12 and it comes with mashed potato, peas and a nice little gravy. And it looks as though that is a cranberry sauce as well. So we're going to tuck into that and we've also got dessert. We've managed to pick up a lovely apple tart and we've got some cream with it as well. And we got a drink which we're going to share between us. Yes, it's lingonberry flavour. Is that loganberry? I'm not quite sure. Should I cut them or just have it in one big bowl? Oh, you need look. to cut them. Look. Did you see that? Yeah. It's a trick. Oh, look at that. It's magnetic. Wow. Magnetic cutlery. Okay. Well, hopefully this hasn't got a touch of one of my old fillings in my mouth. Right. Okay. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is like? No. When I was a child, you used to get meatballs in a tin. Yeah, really. oh, wow. Yeah, and it was like, Disgusting. I think when I went to a friend's house sometimes, that's what I was served up, and it was just like this. Mm. So it just goes to show that the old meatballs in a tin are the same meatballs that you seem to get at Ikea. Mmm. Have some of the other stuff. I want to try a bit of the cranberry. Oh my God, it's delicious. <laughs> Let's test the potato. Have some of the mm. peas. The potato is nice and creamy, but it still tastes of potato. Because sometimes you get potato that's sort of yeah, pumped wow. out and something else. The peas. Mm. They're a bit cold. <laughs> All right, I think Paul should have a go now. Are you having trouble with the magnetic cutlery? Yours doesn't work. Look, look at this. Maybe it's only the spoons. Yours doesn't work. <laughs> I'm special. Okay. Oh, you're cutting yours. So let's be proper. You're not having it on its own, you're having a bit of everything. 
What do you think? Delicious. But you don't really eat meatballs that much, do you? No. I don't normally eat meatballs. And you wouldn't have had the tinned type back as a child, would you? <laughs> no. Mmm. Have you ever had meatballs at IKEA before? Once before? At Wembley, was it? I don't remember where. No, it's like off North Circular. Yeah, that's Wembley. Okay, yeah, that one then. No, it tastes pretty good. Um, the mashed potatoes, eh. I, I've had better. Um, no, but I think it's, I think that with me, I think that with meatballs, it's the sauce that makes it nice. Ah, yes, the gravy. Mmm. I'm really glad we came here now. Makes it all worth it on a really wet day. Well, now with my magnetic spoon, I'm going to take some of the lovely cream and apply it to the side of my apple. You're having some cream as well, Paul. Okay, but you can have most of it. I'll have a little bit more then. Okay, let's give this a go. Mmm, very fresh. The cream or the cake? The cream seems to make it nice and fresh. Mmm. Mmm, nice. It's very light. It's not that heavy and the apple isn't that sweet. So it's like the right amount of lightness and sweetness. Wow, this is amazing. There is a conveyor belt taking all the trays with the dirty dishes. And look, here comes Paul with his Hello. trolley. Hello. So here is our dirty glasses. Onto the conveyor belt it goes. It's like a little train, isn't it? Look. Yeah. And now, I'm thinking I need to get it from behind. Careful now. And there it goes. Bye bye. Do you think this is what happens after you eat the meatballs? Why don't you tower above the competition? So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paula Marcus. It looks as though we have to go back out into the rain and it is even heavier looking now. Now the reason that we're in Sweden is because it is Eurovision and the final of the contest takes place this Saturday in Malmo and on Friday we have a very special episode from Malmo and we will be doing all things Eurovision 
But while we were here at IKEA, we did at least manage to pick up two mini flags on our dessert. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have something even bigger and better than that on Friday. Keep all your games as and lost, as and lost. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button because it will help us on our journey to a thousand subscribers and it will help us along the way. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you can do so as well. And if you are feeling extra generous, why not buy us a coffee? The description is in the link below. I think you might find that the link is in the description, Paul. <laughs> well, there's only one way to describe this, and I think we're just going to have to make a run for the train because it is very wet. We will see you on Friday. Until then, bye-bye.